Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you guys 10 uh, really good uh, customization tools for Windows 7. So to get started we'll use the Windows 7 logon screen background changer. It'll change the logon it'll change the background of the logon screen and the security option screen. If you don't know what the security option screen is, it's uh, the options that you see when you press Control Alt Delete, like change password, lock the computer, start the task manager, stuff like that. The first time you start it, it'll take a while because it has to create this um, sound file, I guess. So yeah, it is. So after you start it up, you'll get this. It'll, it'll show you a preview of what's there of what it'll look like after this is you know you can also select your own one so if you just go to choose a folder uh, go to the folder where the picture is mine is in this one and then look for it it's this one yeah you can't use a, a folder you can use a picture I, rec I recommend uh, it being this uh, the resolution of the resolution that you're using on your computer so since I'm using um, what do you call it? I'm using yeah I'm using 1280 by 1024 the picture it should be 1280 by 1024 and you can click apply you don't need to restart your computer or anything for it and if you go to the settings you can reset the default the default program the folder I mean where like let me see like here this is all you see if you want to go back to the default pictures that were there before just go to settings reset default folder and yeah it'll be it'll be there yeah so that's the that's the first one Yeah, so let's go to the next one. Next one is the Windows 7 boot updater. Uh, I think you're supposed to run and register. I really don't know. I really don't care. So, yeah, so after it starts up, it'll, you can, you can change pretty much everything, like the messages when this is starting. See if you see right here. It's like this, You, I can change this to anything, right here, that's the first message, is the bottom one, the second one is this one, you can change that, you can even change the background, like, I can make this white, I can, and for this, I can make this white, and text, this can be black, yeah, it can be black. I wouldn't recommend it if you're just trying to change the text because it'll look pretty weird if it's black if it's a black background and then there's just this white animation a black animation I mean yeah and for resuming you can change everything to the same yeah so that's the first one that's pretty useful too so it's the second one is a task manager modder I guess you change the appearance of the task manager. Uh, yeah, just press I agree. And yeah, you can change it. You can change like the grid color. The grid color, let's see. Modify task manager. Yeah, and you can change like the color and everything of it. I believe, yeah, like the, uh, the color of the grid, the color of the CPU line, which is, I believe, this one, yeah, that one, you can change, yeah, there's that, you can change the memory line, right here, which is right here, and you can change the hex digits, which is the, the numbers right underneath the the bars you can change the color of the bars too you can change your own cust you can make your own custom what do you call it custom bar by clicking on this bar right here and saving it to a file location anywhere 
and yeah then once you're done you can click modify yeah, modify task manager okay and yeah which is right here and see there you go it's modded so you can just exit out of this the next program we'll be using is run editor this one's actually really useful so once you open up this uh, application you find the file location of what you want to open up from the run dialog I'll go to program files Let's see, I'll just, I'll just do, you know, Picasso 3, and open that, you can do manually set name, then you can go to create, and this is, this could be the keyword, it could be anything, I'll just do Picasso, in this case, huh, wonder what's wrong, wait, I think I found the problem. You have to run it as an administrator. I just read the README right now. So. <sighs> yeah, so I was hoping you could just get the fi uh, file for the CASA. Go to manually set name. Go to create and put whatever you want. I'll just do Picasa this again okay yeah for some reason this isn't working right now probably because it doesn't have access to it let's see run as administrate then you want to launch your program pick it Picasso. Oh my god keyword see now, now it works okay let's see sdf let's see sdf there you go it works See, Picasso is launching. This is pretty helpful, even though it took me a while. All right, now, oh my God, this one I actually made a video for. It. That was my last video. This one, uh, I'll I'm, I added this to the list because it is really helpful. When you launch it, see, yeah, okay. I really don't like the GUI of this that much, but whatever, still works. I usually use this program to launch web addresses, like I'll do google.com, then you can change the name right here to Google. Make sure this is download website icon, the fav icon. Make sure that one's clicked, then it'll have the image that you see right here, like this. It'll be there. And then bottom, and you can uh, you can also pick this, uh, like it'll if you press shift while you're doing the right click, it'll only show if when you click shift, then click add to context context menu, added. Let's see, uh, okay, here. Hold on, let me see something. Wait. Google. Okay. Remove. I'll try to add it again. Web address. Maybe I just didn't put it in right. You can also pick your own custom picture. Yes. Add. Yeah. So you want to launch it? I don't know why it's taking so long. Most of these take long. Take real long. Once you start up for the first time, yeah, it'll start up here, and then you want to do you want to go to settings. This this has so many. I have gone to most of these yet. The only one I've gone to is explore tabs, explorer tabs. Like you can make tabs in the explorer in the explorer thing. You can do yeah, and then you can. What do you call it? You can choose uh, what's the start page of the tab. Like I just did users for mine. You can do anything like desktop. I don't know why it's it's not working. Oh. Yeah. 
yeah, whatever. So you can click apply, then you go to OK. And then if you press Control T, there's a tab. And then it'll launch another tab like this. You can sw it'll switch like that. It'll take you to the page where you clicked. And yeah, this is really helpful. No, I don't have access to that, but whatever. And now, uh, I keep that. Now the new okay, right when you s now I can just exit out of that. And now the next program is seven. Yeah, the next one is seven conifier. Okay, okay, with this program, it'll change like icons that you have. It has most of the programs except, you know, like Camtasia Studio, Windows Explorer. Not Internet Explorer, I mean like Explorer, like this right here. Yeah, I'm sure you can add more. So, yeah, like right here on my task taskbar, you see Google Chrome, Skype, Photoshop, Visual Studio 2012 or 11, I'm not sure, 11. No, yeah, Visual Studio 11. And it has a lot like Mozilla Firefox. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, it does have Windows. Huh. Go figure. Let me see if I pin it. It'll if it'll still be there. Whatever. Maybe I have to restart it. I don't care. Yeah. It has text editor, Steam, Spotify, Safari, Picasa, Opera, all that other stuff. All right. Let's get on to the next program. This video is already 12 minutes long. I'm gonna do under 15 minutes. Let's go. I guess this is the last one. Yes, seven copy delete animation modder. Agree. Let's see. Uh, yeah. All right. So you can change the color of this, I guess. Let's see. Red. Oh, right here. That's red. Then I'll just make this black or something. Uh, nah. Color, see, let's see, white. Yeah, you can do two. I'll just do a blue. That doesn't work right, does it? Now, whatever. And the font color, you can do black. That could be it. Or you can do this color. And yeah, now you can modify the end. Yeah, I guess the animation is modified now. Huh, I thought it would do more. Yeah, you need to restart your computer for this. Well, this wasn't that helpful, but whatever. Oh yeah, if you want, if you want to change it again, you have to restart your computer. Then you have to do it. So you can do, you can only modify it, this once per restart, which is pretty inconvenient, but whatever. Yeah, that. So that's the end of this tutorial. Well, not tutorial. This review of programs, I'd say. Yeah, if this if you used any of these programs and you liked it, please leave a like and subscribe. Thanks.